Good morning, everyone. Aubrey trades with another pre-market watch list. Ah, let's see. We got the spy kind of chilling here on the high, so nothing, you know, nothing crazy, nothing terribly to be uh, worried of. We're gonna go over some of my top watches for the day. Uh, let's go ahead and skip OTC land for now. We're just gonna go right to some of the listed names that I am watching. BTBT has been the big winner um, outside of like just the hot stock of the day, which uh, this morning looks like ENSC and HUS, and we'll look at those in a moment. But BTBT, man, I mean, from Monday in the eights to hitting 14 in the after hours just absolutely phenomenal if we look at this great setup here on the daily chart we had this uh, upward sort of grinding consolidation chilling on lower volume after this initial run-up which really set the stage for this action a day one move a chill and then a third day surge is uh, how i've learned this setup as Pretty good. Uh, I have not done nearly as well as I could have, would have, should have on this. I mean, taking pieces uh, here, taking pieces here, taking pieces here. And these aren't even that great. I mean, uh, you know, but we made it happen. <laughs> we made it happen. Anyway, so today what am i looking for well honestly i'm kind of hoping that this chills for a day i wouldn't mind i wouldn't mind just being range bound here in the 11 12s for a big push on friday that would be my personal hope however if this opens or spikes back above this upward trend line here i mean game on i think you know over 14 this thing could get nasty 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 uh, next real resistance level is, you know, in the 17 to 20 area. So on watch, do remember, they do have an active offering though. So the party could end real, real fast. Uh, next, let's see. I have them on the document, but I wrote my top plays. So let's look at seed. I had this uh, for a bounce on the watch list and we got just that. Breaking out of this on the daily, sort of downward wedge pattern. Whoops, zoomed in too much. You see, so you see this happening, you see this fade, but then it puts in a higher low, right? Starts kind of grinding back up, lower volume, getting into this corner, really set up this nice uh, breakout day. Yes, uh, a couple days ago. And then today, we had a little bit of a, of a fail, or yesterday had a little bit of a fail, but we bounced off of this 996, and this was, the, this was an important price level, it was a good break. Then we broke out a second time, confirmed support, bounced off of it yesterday if you had your eye on this you could have caught this bounce eat it's a small gain but it's easy and it's predictable uh so now that we were red yesterday i'm thinking if this starts uh in the pre kind of open it up back here in the 12s i think we're good for maybe a, a third day surge i have this marked at uh 1397 so that's like, oh, I want to play it over 13 because that's when we can really push back to 18. But, you know, I wouldn't mind a third day surge to maybe test this resistance out here. Uh, then moving on to FLGC, this has been a big winner the past few days. This has been, for me, the one that got away. I remember seeing this literally on like the day one i was like oh this is kind of weird it kind of moved from like three to, th to four all of a sudden one day and then the next day i was like oh it gapped up and then it fell huh weird and then like these days i was just so like caught up in the chat like nonsense and looking at what everyone else is watching hard mistake 
hard mistake. I need, um, I've learned, I, I gotta just focus on what I'm, what I'm watching. I actually might do better to just ignore the chat rooms. That, uh, even though, I don't wanna ignore the chat rooms cause I'm still learning and stuff, but man, some of the ones that I outline, and you've seen them in the past couple of videos too, it's like, they just end up happening, so whatever. But, this, I mean, uh, down from the threes to 14s two, uh, two days ago, had a chill day, but held up this upper trend line, which we'd love to see. As such, you know, I like this for a potential third day surge candidate, or at least some kind of bounce, but we'll see. I really don't want to see it um, if it opens back above here. Ideally, you know, can can push past this like 1070, then I think we're game. I think we're really game at that point because uh, this this trend line is just loose. I mean, ideally, you have multiple touch points. I can really just get from here to here. This middle area is just kind of merc, so I don't know. Over 1070, I love for a retest of 12s, possibly 14s. One crazy bounce. This, uh, you know, it wasn't a main watch yesterday, but was on the watch list. Didn't think it was gonna run all the way to the ceiling here, but you know, this has been this is a beaten down stock. Look at this, just this crazy, crazy downward motion filled the whole gap yesterday and then closed right at uh it looks like it closed right at this like ceiling here in the 80s what did it close at 85 so yeah right this will be interesting to see where it, where it opens you know i think if it, if it opens up i'm game i'm game to for a retest check out the highs again see if we can break out i think this might be an easy base hit though if we open up and there's going to be a clear uptrend yeah worth watching cxdc another third day surge candidate going all the way from 37 cents to a dollar three fading all day yesterday but keeping above the 20 simple moving average which uh you know pretty important if this opens up you know I, I i think realistically it wouldn't be out of the question to see a move from 50 to 70 cents here dlpn i think these are all are these all third day surge candidates that we're talking about right now dlpn not really I had a green day yesterday but i had this big spike right from the what the eights to the twelves fades barely green yesterday and now we have this little bit of a range now formed uh, maybe if we we set this here at, at 11 so i mean this is really like 1150 right but i have this clear range even have a little bit of a downtrending motion so i would specifically be looking for this for breakout over this you know, I've got my mark here set for 11. Over 11, I think we're game for at least, you know, 11.50. Maybe we test the 12s. And again, you know, easy base hits. I'm not looking for home runs necessarily. Uh, WHLR was a big runner from the other day. Crazy, crazy, but big gap and crap yesterday. Held up on the support line here, where it was consolidating on its first run up. We'll see where this opens. I think this could be good for like a third day <laughs> surge. We shall see. WHLR and go to gap fill idea. Love this over four to gap fill to the nines. Nothing to do yet. We're really just 
Really just watching. But this was pretty nice the other day. 290 to 380. Nice little dollar a share over the whole day. So if this opens up above the trend line, I might just ride it to four. I think I'll I'll set a wide, I'll set a wide risk to the trend line or something. And then just use one of my bullets on this and just let it ride for the day, see what happens. We're kind of rat. We're kind of getting near the end. I'm sorry these are so long. I just, I'm, you know, I keep track of, I just keep track of so many stocks. Uh, okay, I don't know that I like this anymore. This was another gap fill idea. I don't like seeing how it ooped in after hours here, right after reaching this level. Really um, interested if this can go back over 650 HVBT. I want to see a breakout over this descending trend in the daily. Bam. But that could easily set something in motion. And works. Another one that's been on my, like on the back burner of the watch list now for a bounce day. Had this big run up recently from 160 to 480. Kind of cooled off and has been, uh, you know, trending back up. And this nice green day here. We are gonna see how this opens though. Kind of fading back down. I, I think it's super important to see 250 hold for this, a continued run. Works definitely up there toward the top. And yeah, that is my main watches, uh, OTC land. We're gonna go to uh, MSMY. Big first green day yesterday, as you can see right here. So I'm looking for a dip buy from profit taking of the overnight longs for continued highs. You know, I think uh, this has a you know history running. This first green day led to one, two big spikes in the past. Uh, and now we're, you know, new highs on the year. Anything's possible. Love it, love it, love it. That's going to be my top OTC watch. Thank you guys so much for checking out the pre-market watch list. If you want to see my thoughts on all the potential setups that are taking place, you can catch the link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Aubrey Trades. I'll see you in the next one.